Hello, my name is Naga Pranav and I am 13 years old. I am from Kanarada International School. The reason why I had embarked on the journey to develop and create MEAA on the standing for Malaysian Endangered Animal Awareness was because I was deeply moved by the plight of these unfortunate animals at the brink of their extinction. Furthermore, there were no such websites entirely dedicated to this beautiful species. So, I decided to be their voice and bring to the society's attention how we can save them through biodiversity measures, eco-awakening and eco-survival. This website has been coded using three powerful languages, HTML, CSS and JavaScript in a powerful code editor known as Visual Studio Code. So without further ado, let's get started. This is the homepage of the MEAA website. There will be a brief but high resolution video of each respect to animal playing in the background. You can choose between six different choices and hovering over this little card will inform you the name of the animal, a brief description and you can enrich your knowledge by clicking on the learn more button. In addition, there is a minimalistic nav bar to the top. It contains the logo and a paw print and also there is an about us page which you can click on to know more about the goals of this website. Furthermore, there is a list of my social media icons where you can easily communicate with me. At first glance, you will encounter three super quality images on an automated slider. This will help the user to visualize the animal's physical features. The first row consists of few simple tilt cards. They highlight the habitat of the animal, their diet and their IUCN status with a few descriptive icons. Three informative cards pop up on the second row. The detail about the characteristics of the animal, their communication skills, role in the ecosystem, the natural predators, the specific adaptations and on the days which are celebrated around the world. The wordings flip to know my threats with the glitch effect is to symbolize the shaky populations of the animal. This little widget can be clicked upon and flipped for more information on its threats. As you scroll down, you can swipe to save the animal by reading about the potential solutions, divided into government initiatives, further protection, young generation and civilian action. On focus, these cards become a linear grid and background for further highlighting. Towards the bottom, I have embedded a Google Maps street view on the page so that the users can experience and be closer to the animal's natural habitat with just a few strokes of the mouse. Now this is the final overview of one of the sub pages for the Borneo Pygmy Elephant. So, just like all the other sub pages, it has a linear green scroll bar to be differentiated against the black background, a functional back to top scroll bar, and if you go all the way to the bottom, you have a little footer with the social media icons as well as a link back to the home page. As I want my website to be more user friendly for the visually challenged, I called in an API from a company named UserWay. So this widget enables me to access a lot of options such as pausing the animations, changing the font to make it more dyslexic friendly and magnifying my cursor. As the visually challenged use screen readers, I have equipped all my images with an alternate text so that it can be read by the screen readers. There was a serious issue on how to publish my website to the world using a free hosting provider due to the resolution of the media used. However, after a few days of trial and error, I solved the issue using Firebase, a provider with a free domain included in the package. Firstly, if I had more time, I would like to add an interactive section on my website where people or organizations can update about conservatory, voluntary or activity programs, so interested people can get notified and attend these webinars. Secondly, if I had more time, I would inform about all the other animals around the globe facing the same fate throughout my website. Thank you and let us save the endangered animals together by raising awareness.